yes sir uh, our topic is innovations in financial market so like uh, some of the examples of financial innovation are taxonomy is concerned with regard to financial market innovations there are so many things like uh, there are some new things some innovations in respect of payment some thing in respect of insurance deposits and lending there are some kind of innovations capital raising raising of capital from the market or from some institutions there are some innovations investment management then market provisioning for all these there are different different uh, innovations are there like in respect of payment so there are emerging payment banks the government is talking about cashless world so the cryptocurrency mobile money integrated billing mobile payments these are some of the new innovations in financial market which are exclusively with respect to this payment domain like atl airtel payment bank this is exclusively a payment bank mobile money ola money or like uh, phone pay these are the mobile money cryptocurrency is there integrated billing like a bill will be generated you purchase the goods bill will be generated and automatically the bill will be paid uh, this is integrated billing suppose you book your taxi using ola or uber and there is a provision that you can just keep some money in your ola money wallet and the bill will be generated and automatically your bill will be paid using your ola money credit and you need not to pay cash completely so right from the billing uh, booking of the taxi using it billing it and making ultimate payment this is integrated billing so this is actually uh, happening and ultimately all these things are making the world a cashless world actually the term uh, i disagree with the term cashless world because there cannot be cashless world even if there is 1% cash or 2% cash cash will be there so the appropriate terminology would have been less cash world instead of cashless it should be less cash world like cash use of cash will be minimum use of cash will be uh, to its uh, minimum level that is the less cash world so these are some of the innovations in respect of payment which the world has not seen before uh, earlier there were some innovations like telegraphic transfer like uh, core banking solutions you but ultimately cash has to be there people have to find hard cash to deposit into the bank account and then transmit it from one place to another or to deposit or using check but that also uh, like uh, the paper was there paper was involved now completely paperless cashless or less cash transactions are happening and this is one of the innovations which has revolutionized the entire scenario in the uh, in the world yesterday we were talking about like why can't we provide lunch and uh, snacks to the resource persons who are sitting in surat or banaras or kolkata or bombay using this uh, paytm and we can just book zomato or swiggy to deliver the snacks to a resource person and the payment can be made using this payment mechanism which has been invented recently so this is actually revolutionized second is the insurance now uh, insurance in insurance also lot of innovations insurance disaggregation now insurance are now bought digitally uh, like there is a term called policybazaar.com so using that policybazaar.com or some other platforms are also there i should not uh, name them lot of platforms are there you have just to log into those platform there are some applications log into those applications submit your details and your insurable limit your insurable worth will be disclosed and you can buy insurance online so now this the entire data is shared digitally distributed securitization internet of things is making the things uh, easier so this is something which is happening in respect of insurance so far as the deposits and lending are concerned now there are lot of scope for alternative lending earlier there was only one scope of depositing your money was with the bank or post office now you need not to simply dependent on bank now bank is coming to you there is a provision by the post office of uh, post office india post that simply you have to download the application 
like it's a uh, india post uh, mobile banking something like that i just uh, forget the name you have to just download the application fill your details all this aadhar card and pan card and now uh, the people from the post office will come they will verify and now your account is operational so uh, if you want to deposit money you just deposit in some centers will be there some pulp, some de designated places will be there you deposit your cash and you did not to go even to the post office the nearest post office even the person will come collect and the entry will be made in your account digitally so this is a new uh, trend is coming and this is also one kind of innovation even in your paytm uh, paytm account uh, one can have this uh, one can deposit cash using some designated centers deposit cash at the de cash as the de designated centers and then the money will be credited in their account and it can be used anywhere from any from any places shifting customer preferences okay so now virtual technology mobile then third party api all these things are happening with respect to this digital and uh, digit uh, deposits and lending now so far as this capital raising is concerned this crowd funding is something which has uh, attracted the attention of most of the researchers and innovators all over the world crowd funding if you have some idea and you are not getting fund from any per specific source maybe from one particular financial institutions or you from one uh, particular bank then just upload your idea and then there are people there will be people who will be interested in funding your uh, venture so this crowd funding so now this new way of raising capital that is crowd funding has emerged then investment management now we will discuss about this investment management now the two things are very important in respect of when we talk about this investment management empowered investors now the investor is empowered and how the investor is empowered we will just discuss uh, how this uh, um, uh, investment management uh, how the investors are empowered that we'll discuss in detail in the later slides now the process is externalized pro our process is actually now made transparent then new market platforms market pro provisioning smarter faster machines are there using artificial intelligence uh machine learning robotics now these are some of the things uh, so which are now actually being the reality uh, of the day so these are some of the taxonomy now we will discuss all these things in detail now the key technologies which are dri driving innovation in finance is the distributed ledger distributed ledger is like a, the record uh, the entry is made simultaneously at several several geographically distributed places not at one place so that is the distributed ledger technology data analytics we have so much of the data and now the entire game is of data only uh, in 2 uh, 3 years back in one of the annual general meeting mukesh ambani who is the chairman of uh, reliance industries while addressing to its annual general meeting he has said that this we are in the fourth uh, edition of the industrial revolution and this fourth generation of industrial revolution fourth edition of industrial revolution will be actually the data driven and the company which have the data the person who have the data will be the person who will be having control over the uh, market so now it is the data driven economics and now lot of data is being generated because of this technology we are using and any company who is able to use that data uh, smartly that will be the winner at the end of the day uh, cambridge analytica we have heard of now lot of discussion lot of war is going on be between the government of india and the twitter only with respect to this privacy of the data whatsapp and facebook data sharing and privacy lot of conflicts are going on so actually because this so, so much of the data is being generated and if the data is not properly handled and if this data are actually mishandled then ultimately it may harm the not only the person but actually the sovereignty of a country artificial intelligence 
need not to say that how artificial intelligence is now uh, on the driving seat whether it is in any business any person even our day to day life also we have to just our in the auto correct system in whatsapp you just type something and automatically it will be corrected this is artificial intelligence uh, you just talk about uh, something on facebook you chat with someone in facebook and soon you will start seeing the advertisement of that particular thing on your facebook okay aap kisi ko facebook mein likh dijiye ki main tumhe joota maarunga char baar likhe to joote ka advertisement aana shuru ho jata hai so this is the now artificial intelligence three years back this uh, personalized advertisement people have not thought of now uh, personal this is actually uh, this uh, uh, now reality nowadays one person just log into the internet to book his railway ticket and uh, on irctc website some advertisement of some some pornographic material was coming on and that person have written to the irctc that uh, irctc should not indulge in promoting such uh, such content then the reply came that the advertisement that you are viewing viewing is not given by irct see it is actually based on your browsing history so might be that person have browsed so much about a particular thing and ultimately he is getting advertisement of that thing this is because of artificial intelligence so now personalized advertisement what i like what is my taste what actually i am searching for in the on the internet and accordingly i will be getting into, uh, uh, this uh, advertisement just log into the amazon.com and uh like uh, based on your browsing history based on the transactions you did in the past some products will be offered to you like uh, the moment you log into the amazon or flipkart or any website this is artificial intelligence robotics now most of the things will be taken care of by the robotics and if uh, like uh, i am imagining a, a situation where uh even the board of directors all the directors will be robots and only one person will be there who will be the chairman and who will be having uh, like uh, emotions so the board of directors consist of robot robots only vice president marketing vice president uh, products and vice president finance all are the robots and only and they do not have any emotions so that robo robotics is a situation which uh, robotics uh, is a situation Uh, like uh, an imagination that maybe the in future uh, it may be a reality like every household will be having uh, robots there is a very popular movie on youtube uh, anukul uh, like just go and see that movie it's anukul just like the movie robot of rajnikanth so this like every person every household might be having one robot who will be listen to you and who will be tu tuned to your emotions also uh, responding to your emotions and that will be just like your family members so this might be the future of robotics in the world internet of things lot of things have been discussed about internet of things iot uh, and that is actually driving the innovations in finance not only in finance but in all other areas when we talk about finance there are two things one is we have to talk about the sources of funds and it is application of funds financial management per se is basically consist of you have to think about application of fund where the funds will be invested what will be the application of fund you have to purchase some furniture you have to purchase plants machinery investment furniture then you have to pay to your worker these are the application and this is the when once total application is decided then you have to find out what will be the source of those funds how this entire demand will be met so this is actually about the sources of fund now let us see what are the innovations with respect to the sources of funds and application of fund this is the three functions uh, which is known as the finance function financing function investing function dividend function which consist of the sources of fund and application of fund financing function is the sources of fund investing function and dividend function is the application of fund these are some of the disruptive technologies uh, we will not 
discuss in detail later on but we'll di di discuss effect of technology on business so now we have real time data available so this is one effect on technology and business we have real time data available earlier it was not available uh, if you just see one very popular web series is going on on sony leave that is scam 1992 and if you just see the entire story you will find that one of the reason that this scam was possible and it was not able to be unearthed in, uh, in a, a, a shorter time because the real time data was not available. Everything has to be done manually and like uh, in one bank some transactions was done on 1st of January then on some another transaction was done on 30th of January and on 15th of February and like uh, that so by the time all these transactions are reconciled it took around six months to one year time so this reconciliation of transaction it took much more time and that's why this real time data was not available and because of this this scams were allowed the scams were possible whether it is Harsad Mehta scam or Ketan Parikh scam or before that lot of scams which we may might not be aware of but scams were happening and all these were made possible only because this real time data was not available had this real time data available this would not have been possible i'm just giving one simple example one rule is that one person cannot have two bank account in the same bank but many people were used to have i also sometimes used to have this two bank account in the same bank because of the different reasons because of some convenience the reason was the real time data was not available how will you verify that it is the same person because one bank is in Allahabad and another branch of the same bank is in Mumbai or Karnataka and it was there was no uh, any mechanism to verify it but now you just go to open up an account in say uh, Canada bank and you already have an account the moment you will enter your Aadhaar card or PAN card the system will say that already have an account with the bank so this cannot be processed because now the data is being processed on real time basis and thus this uh, uh, the fraud can be prevented now artificial intelligence and robotics are replacing repetitive tasks already we have discussed Artificial intelligence and robotics are actually working and doing this some monotonous tasks, repetitive tasks are actually being done by robots. Smartphones being primary tool for everyone. We are actually facing each other because we have some technology, either computer or a smartphone with us. And now smartphones are, be, uh, are be becoming a reality. Though it is costly, though we say that India is a poor country, but you will find that almost every household is having one smartphone. So now it is just like a basic necessity. Roti, kapra, makan or smartphone is the basic necessity of life. So it is the primary tool for everything and smartphone. Startup businesses are there because of this technology. So what is driving innovation in financial services? In financial services, lower barriers of entry because of new customer access methods such as the mobile phone replacing the retail bank branch, affordable infrastructure such as analytics, artificial intelligence, cloud computing and social technologies, new currencies, credit system affecting incoming banking and investment players and changing customer behavior and expectations from financial service providers. Okay. Now, the bottom line is that the uh, entry barriers are actually being lowered down. Earlier, if you want to open a bank account, what would have been the cost? Or not bank account, if you want to open a bank, what would have been the cost? Just go through the traditional bricks and mortar model that one entire building has to be constructed, furniture has to be hired, furniture has to be purchased people has to be hired, computers, all this document, stationery, uh, electrical fittings, everything has to be installed. So just if you want to open up one bank branch, it might cost you some crores and crores of rupees. But I'm just giving one example of one bank. Paytm Payment Bank, this is a bank. 
have you seen any branch of paytm payment bank or have you seen any branch of airtel payment bank these are the banks and how they are operational in every mobile this this bank is there just you need to download one application and this bank will be operational and now you can use all the facilities of this bank paytm payment bank or airtel payment bank or many such banks are there so need not to have open up any branch just on uh, 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 mobile application this branches are actually being operational so now the entry barriers are actually being lowered down so that's why this affordable infrastructures are there new systems are there and now the changing customer behavior now the customer is also becoming tech savvy customer also knows how to operate mobile because everybody is having mobile phone and they know how to use this uh, payment bank and all so that's why this is actually driving innovation in financial services this entry barrier so there are some four thematic areas of financial innovation first one is that future of money second one is the future of market future of marketplace and infrastructure so when we have to talk about financial innovation we have to talk about what will be the future of money money means uh, money is a matter of function for a value a measure a, 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 a store like it it, it uh, measures something it values something it stores the uh, value so this is the future this is the normal function of money then future of market what will be the future market what will be the future of marketplace and what kind of infrastructure will be required so these are the four thematic areas of financial innovation now when actually have to talk about money so the two key uh, functions of money are like it is a placeholder for value it can be used in exchange money can be used for store of store of value and placeholder of value it can be used for exchange now the latest term it is the digital money now you need not to have this hard currency notes now digital money e money and mobile money these are now the future of money now when somebody will be talking about like do you have money so actually the person it, he is not talking about this physical wallet that what is the uh, thickness of your wallet but actually that person is talking about how much money is available in your digital wallet maybe paytm or uh, this all these banks are also having their wallet this service providers like oyo money ola they are also having some wallet so everybody is just providing this digital money or e money or mobile money used interchangeably most of the time okay so this is the future of money now when we say about this future of money is will be the digital money it means this this uh, hardcore currency notes what will happen to them this hardcore currency notes they will will they disappear definitely they will disappear now if you just see like in the market how many of you have will find this 2000 rupee currency notes are available in the same quantity as it was available 2 years back and you will find that this 2000 currency notes hello this 2000 cur rupees currency notes are actually now becoming in short supply and when this 2000 currency notes even 500 rupees currency notes will be in short supply people will be bound to use this digital money whether it is in the form of credit card or some upi or debit card or net banking oh, kajol oh, see kajol see somebody yeah. have uh, uh, switched on uh, unmuted themselves okay. so हेलो एनी प्रॉब्लम शिवानी गुप्ता मैडम शिवानी गुप्ता प्लीज म्यूट योर सेल्फ इट्स ऑलरेडी म्यूटेड डॉक्टर रवि is mute mic is on dr ravi please mute yourself kajal please mute dr ravi okay so this is the future of money 
so now this uh, physical currency will be replaced with a digital currency and there are some advantage of this also uh, some disadvantages also challenges also we'll discuss that later but definitely the future of money which actually this currency notes definitely will be uh, not this the physical currency notes but the physical physical future of money is definitely a digitalization digitized digitalized version of it then future of money and payment what will be so the future of money will be cashless the payment will be cashless customer interaction will be just through the digital mode only from some technology platform like yesterday we are talking about like uh, asking Zomato to deliver uh, food packets to our resource person or to our participants and now what will be the mode of interaction definitely the service provider and the customer have not met each other they met each other only through a certain technology platform and this is the new way of customer interaction none of them have actually seen each other or like uh, ola uh, cars you are using what is the uh, mode of customer interaction you are searching for the cars in your mobile application the driver is also looking at the customer uh, finding information about the customer in the mobile application so that platform is actually new medium new platform for interacting with the customer neither the driver knows the service provider knows nor the customer knows the driver or the ta taxi owner but ultimately they are able to interact with each other using some technology the payment is also made bill is also made paid using some technology so this is a new way of customer interaction driven by data transparent now this is also new uh, thing about the future of money in payment that which is driven by data and it will be transparent just think of any service that you are uh, hiring using this uh, technology driven platform whether it is ola cars or zomato or swiggy everything is transparent that what will be the cost what will be the approximated uh, fare for, to carry a person from x place to y everything is disclosed in advance so that is a transparent financial data lot of financial data is actually being generated in the process reduced cost of transaction now uh, the advantage of all this technological advancement is this the cost of transaction have been reduced and automated and invisible payments some payments are automated some payments are invisible but this is happening so this is the future of money and payment one area of innovation so most of the companies some of the companies are actually working in this world in this field like cashless or customer interaction or data driven trans transparent financial data maybe a phone pay or google pay or paytm or uh, even oyo money or book my so money all this our companies are working on this future of money and payment and it is becoming a providing customers with cashless mechanism a, a platform to interact with the customer on a certain day so on some platform so this is the future of money now when we have to th think about use of technology in finance so in finance like we have accounting and earlier accounting was used to be done by used to be done manually now it is done using some softwares like tally is there ipo earlier ipo was issued manually physical was there now it's online applications using artificial intelligence it is there trading on share trading were used to be done manually and now it is live online trading you and artificial intelligence is also there banking physical banking or bricks and mortar banking have been replaced with the computer banking new technology finical is one such software investing is now using artificial intelligence then this universe of financial technology already i have discussed like payment digital banking investment crowdfunding these are there now the future of payment will be the paytm or google pay or this ola money banking will be banking is essential but banks are not now, yeah this is the india post payment bank this is actually the government of india we started ippb india post payment bank 
Now, India Post Payment Bank, if you want to open up an account in this bank, you need not to visit India Post or your local post office. You have to simply download one a mobile application, IPPB, and your account will be opened. So that's why, uh, or Paytm Payment Bank. So the banking is essential, but the banks are not. Now, banks are not essential, but banking is essential. Without having bank, you are getting all the banking services. Traditional banking, now it's being replaced with the online banking and no more traditional. Traditional banking is also no more uh, traditional. Investment, earlier system of outcry was this, like this. People have to go into the market and they have to just uh, cry. They have to, earlier, like there are some person like jobbers whose job is to get uh, the shares which are actually being sold into the market or sell shares which are somebody is willing to buy in the market but now everything is becoming made online and uh, you must be happy to know that india is the first country which has gone for the 100 percent screen based trading even in usa 100 percent screen based trading is not done till date some portion is still there on, on the basis outcry system but india 100 percent of the transactions are screen based transactions now the next is the future of financial market first one was the future of money then future of financial market so the future of market ma financial market is the prediction market and collective intelligence crowdfunding equity funding artificial intelligence then social trading automatic advice and wealth management algorithmic trading and high frequency trading all these are the future of financial market in like mutual fund earlier the this uh, physical form of mutual fund are now actually being replaced with uh, this technology driven mutual funds earlier now come to this dividend function the dividend earlier it used to come through check but now this dividends are also coming through this electronic clearing services so the dividends are now no more in the form of this checks future of marketplace so the future of marketplace is the payment platform as we have already discussed there will be various payment platforms there will be mobile the mobile itself will be one uh, marketplace then financial inclusion now future of marketplace and why, uh, why actually have uh, discussed about this financial inclusion uh, what is financial inclusion like providing financial services to each and every person of the society each financial inclusion like if every person is able to use uh, some of the basic financial services like banking or insurance then we consider that the person is actually financially included into the system mainstream of the system so that is financial inclusion now what was the biggest challenge which are which was coming in in the way of this financial inclusion this geography then uh, Geography, then some of the barriers like uh, the reachability, some of the barriers like in some places like Arunachal Pradesh or uh, Sikkim, the density of population is so low that it is not financially viable to open up a bank account. Like the density of population in Arunachal Pradesh is like one person per square kilometer. And definitely one person will be requiring banking services. One person also he or she needs to be included into the mainstream financial system but definitely there will not be any bank which will be ready to open up a bank account a bank branch in that particular geography where only one family is residing within a vicinity of five kilometer or ten kilometer so definitely for one family none of the bank are going to open up a bank branch so this was another challenge Second challenge, the reachability. Like some of the places like in Himachal Pradesh or Uttarakhand or in Nagaland, uh, like uh, it is very difficult to reach there because of this transportation, because of uh, uh, the climatic conditions. It is not easy for any person to go out there, to go there and open up a bank account, a bank branch. And that's why what will happen to the financial inclusion of the person who are residing in those places? Like what will happen to the financial inclusion of a family which is the only family within the periphery of 
10 km in Arunachal Pradesh. Like, there are some places like Chang, uh, like uh, Tawang, Changlang. Uh, uh, this uh, there is a place called Jiro in Arunachal Pradesh. Ladakh. Only one or two families, and definitely any bank because banks are also doing business, so they will not be interested in opening up a bank branch in those places. Definitely, if this is uh, if bank branches are not open, then the persons residing in those places will not be financially included. But now using this technology, now as I said that banking is important, but banks are not essential nowadays. So using this technology, everybody is having mobile phone. Everybody is having smart mobile phone. Using that technology, persons can download that mobile application of a bank. Like SBI is also providing like Yono, uh, Yono service. That Yono application is there. So SBI or any uh, most of the banks are actually having that uh, facility now. Using that mobile phone, mobile banking, that person is having availing all the banking services without having a bank branch in his or her locality, and thus this mobile technology or this financial technology is also helping uh, the government in bringing more and more of financial inclusion so now using mobile technology or this uh, uh, information technology people are buying insurance people are buying or availing all kind of banking services people are availing all kind of payment banking services and thus they are now actually becoming financially included into the mainstream financial system of the country so this is the future of the marketplace now the marketplace earlier the marketplace was only a place where uh, uh, bank branches were there where the establishment physical bricks and mortar model of the establishments used to be there that happens to be the marketplace but now the marketplace is a place where even uh, network ja sakta hai mobile ka tahan tak marketplace Oh yeah, that is actually becoming the market future of marketplace and the future of customer also uh, like uh, I'm just uh, like to discuss uh, earlier in a bank the definition of customer was anybody who is having an account with the bank happens to be the customer of that bank but now the definition is anybody who is entering into the banking premises is the customer I am entering into a bank. I may not have account, but I want to buy insurance from bank. I want to buy mutual funds from a bank. I want to buy gold coins from the bank. So I am a customer of the bank, but I do not have an account with that particular bank branch. So this is the future of market, future of customers. Everything is changing because of this financial in innovation. Algorithmic trading. Now what is algorithmic trading? Just you write a code. And your application will keep on buying up shares when they will uh, fall down, when the prices will fall down, and automatically it will sell when the prices goes up. If this kind of code can be written, and that is algorithmic trading. Just a programmer, he will develop a code. It saves time for the trader, access market situations dynamically. It will access all the information for market, and what will it will do? Just it is actually happening algorithmic trading that that uh, a few securities are actually being listed there in that particular code. So what this code will do? The moment the share prices of that particular script will come down below a particular limit, this particular application will buy them. And the moment it will reach beyond a certain level, it will sell them. And it will just keep on doing buying cheap, selling high, buying cheap, selling high, and ultimately it will make some huge profit at the end of the day so without sitting in front of the computer without accessing the market information just you write a code and the computer will keep on doing this trading on behalf of you automatically throughout the day and this is becoming algorithmic trading and this is becoming very popular everywhere now so far as this borrowing function is concerned now it is not only restricted only to the bank and now banks are actually becoming partner in borrowing. Now, uh, this is also another uh, change which is happening. Banks are actually becoming partner in borrowing, and this is another innovation. 
in respect of finance how like if i need a loan of say 1000 crore and bank is all bank is not able to provide me that 1000 crores of rupees as a loan so what the bank will do bank will become a partner bank can say that okay we can provide you only 200 crore rest 800 crores we will arrange for you from other banks or from some other institutions so banks are actually becoming partner in borrowing so this is another interesting thing which is happening in respect of borrowing and this is also an, another innovation which was not done earlier so far as insurance is concerned i have already discussed that online insurance policies are reality so now the insurance agent physically visiting your door step convincing you you buy this particular policy keep it for 20 years and uh, you will be getting four times of the sum assured five times of the sum assured and uh, this is uh, uh, now uh, uh, not going to be practice in future now this online insurance policy now earlier all the insurance companies they used to have only one channel that is agency channel one companies there have some divisional officers or uh, some sales officers happens to be there and these sales officers they used to recruit some agent agents used to bring all the businesses now what kind of innovation has is, is being done in case of insurance now there are multiple channels agency channel is only one such channel or only one part of it now there are bank assurance channel now what is the bank assurance channel now this is not like the traditional agency channel now becoming all the banks are becoming uh, a corporate agents of some of the insurance companies and why banks are becoming insurance agent of a uh, corporate agents of insurance companies because this they are seeing there a huge value in becoming in selling insurance policy to the customers because the customer will be going to the bank to avail any kind of banking services and bank used to have all the data at least financial data 100% the financial data of the customer some of the very important personal data of the customer is with the bank and now banks are trying to leverage that and in uh, 2000 2001 in 99 when india have uh, liberalized its insurance sector by passing ird act a lot of insurance companies entered into indian market and sbi the biggest bank of india it has started its sbi life insurance company sbi life its life insurance wing and that becomes a, a start of this bank assurance and when if the biggest bank have started its life insurance wing then the biggest life insurer of the country that is life insurance Com- corporation of india it has bought stakes in the corporation bank that if you are coming into my area i will also venture into your area and this is a bank assurance is coming so this agency channel this this was the traditional channel mr anand please switch off mute yourself so traditional channel and now bank assurance channel is also coming in a big way and the third channel is the alternate channel a online channel with without bank without agent simply just log into the website of sub uh, companies compare the policies and buying buy all those company uh, buy the policies submitting the requisite documents so this is a one such huge innovation and it has revolutionized the entire insurance industry now roti kapda makan mobile phone that is uh, android phone and insurance is the reality very soon going to be a reality in india also in usa it is already becoming a reality if you do not have a, a health insurance doctor will not even touch you most of the time so health insurance is one of the mandatory thing in usa in india also this health insurance is going to be uh, a, a, a reality very soon so these are some of the development some of the innovations in insurance sector from agency channel to bank assurance channel now online channel alternate channel three four channels are actually there just to sell insurance policy accounting we have already discussed this tally software there some other softwares are also there when actually we have to file tax we have earned something then we have to file tax earlier system was that we have to go to the income tax office submit a form uh, fill up the form and submit the form now this 
is being done away now 100% of the tax returns have to be submitted through online mode only this is compulsory online mode is submission is only allowed uh, for the tax return so physical form uh, physical submission is not allowed algorithmic trading we have discussed cryptocurrency yes so lot of things have been talked about this cryptocurrency and still though it is not legalized in india but it is actually giving a very serious threat to the currencies of almost all the sovereign countries that can it be replaced with a cryptocurrency can dollar be replaced with bitcoin or can rupee be replaced with bitcoin and suppose one particular day all the people all the youngsters start trading in cryptocurrency all every all the shopkeepers all the establishment they started accepting bitcoin then there can be another dimension that we can see that bitcoin will be accepted and now this bitcoin can it replace the physical currency or the legal tender of a country so this is also becoming a reality so cryptocurrency is another thing which is coming up in a big way so now the future infrastructure the four thematic areas of market innovation future of money future of market future of marketplace and the future of infrastructure so this is the future of infrastructure so that infrastructure and regulatory technology that identity security and privacy cyber security regulatory and technology these are the dimensions has to be considered now the any infrastructure in future it has to think about the security of a person the privacy of the person now the privacy of a person is the most important thing uh, while designing for the it infrastructure of any company or any uh, organization or any product so that the privacy security and identity will be the most important thing and because of this only now the moment most of the time this tv debates or the tv news is filled up with the information that there is a war or there is a tussle between facebook or whatsapp and twitter and the government of india and most of the time this war is with respect to the security privacy and identity of the person because uh, and nowadays in whatsapp also most of the time you will be getting some uh, like uh, some link uh, to update or to continue that your data will be shared with the facebook and facebook will be sharing your data with uh, though it is saying that it will not be sharing but there is a threat and that's why the government of india is having an objection that you cannot share your data cannot store your data with any third party and that's why government of india is putting a pressure on twitter also to have its office have its uh, to set up its server here in india only so that we can have more control over twitter and this is the one very important aspect of it infrastructure the future of it infrastructure the future of it infrastructure it has to be uh, take care of the privacy of the customer customer then cyber security this most of the time now the war any war will be not fought on the battlefield now the war will be war fought on the cyber space so the cyber security uh, will be the key uh, if suppose we are able to hack any company any country suppose there is a war between two countries and if that one country is able to hack the system of uh, another country and it just change the access and coordinates and suppose pakistan ne missile mara ke usko jo hai bombay pe girana hai bombay ne indian army ne uska jo hai wo system hack karke uska access aur coordinates change karke karachi kar diya to pakistan ne apna bomb apne karachi pe gira diya aisa bhi ho sakta hai so that cyber security is the big thing and this regulations and technology will be very important in this respect so regulations most of the war actually is being because of this uh, regulatory aspect only that government of india have told the social media companies to remove certain objectionable content so that is regulatory aspect and technology how to identify those objectionable ob objectionable content the technology will be uh, helping us in doing that now what will be the benefit of all these financial in innovations we have innovations in the future of money secured future of market future of marketplace uh, future banking future insurance uh, online taxes and uh, cryptocurrency we have talked about now what will be the benefit 
definitely the benefits will be tremendous but the most important benefit as i have just talked it that the any kind of scam uh, will be difficult i'm not saying that it will be totally eliminated or totally it will be impossible to do this kind of scam but as i told you that in the, at the beginning that this scam was possible only because there was no reconciliation system available the, or the reconciliation system which was available it took time so the data was not available on real time basis and that's why he was the harshad mehta the great harshad mehta was able to uh, identify the loopholes in the system and he was just trying to play with the system because the real time data was not available at that time to and real time reconciliation was not made possible and if reconciliation has to be done it took time and by the by the time the things uh, were identified uh, most of the damages are actually being done so this is the biggest uh, benefit of this financial innovation second counterfeiting currency if we are using this digital finance online payment using credit card or upi or debit card or net banking then actually we are not using any physical form of currency and if physical form of currency is not being used then there is no question of uh, this uh, 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 fake currency this counterfeiting currency so this will be the biggest check to the, uh, to the suppliers of counterfeiting currency then accounted transaction in india very often not only in india everywhere in the world uh, very often one thing is always uh, uh, said that uh, we do not have a recorded version of the transaction most of the time some of the pt transactions some of the transactions in the agricultural field some of the transactions in some of the areas which are uh, uh, some of the transactions uh, like uh, they are not accounted and since all those transactions are not accounted uh, we do not have data for them and since we do not have data we cannot tax them they are not ssc is not right now because they simply uh, they because we do not have any system to tax them so they cannot be assessed for income tax payment or gst payment but once these transactions will be accounted now two benefits will be there first their transaction is recorded so their profit and loss their income everything is in the recorded form so the income tax can be recovered from them the other gst and other tax tax can be recovered from them second once the transactions are recorded so we have a real real time data and we have uh, correct data available for us for planning and policy making so we can know sir we can know with accuracy what is the level of our gdp what is the rise in gdp and fall in gdp and based on that we can make some uh, uh, we can make some uh, po- take some policy decision so this accounted transactions will be there if this because of this financial innovation this is possible and that's why the government of india is giving so much emphasis on this digital india initiative because if the things are all all the time digital cashless transactions are there or less cash transactions are there then uh, all these benefits that is the counterfeiting currency and uh, prevention of this uh, any kind of scams and accounted transactions will be there but there are certain issues and challenges biggest issue is if there is no internet aap kisi hotel mein khana khane gaye aur wahan pe internet nahi hai to paise bhi aap leke nahi gaye fir bartan ma bartan dhoke hi wapas aana padega so that is the biggest issue and challenge and second one is the government control now your everything is linked with the aadhar your uh, bank account is linked with aadhar your driving license is linked with aadhar your uh, atm credit card pass uh, upi everything is linked with the aadhar and suppose uh, if a person uh, is escaping from the from the hands of the government he is he's not uh, he is doing something which is detrimental to the interest of the society or government is not liking that then simply that aadhar data can be switched off and it means that the person is simply switched off from the system and though he have account he have money in his bank account or she is having money in bank in her bank account that person cannot use that money because that person is simply switched off from the system 
or if suppose the government wants to control some uh, system some places like uh, uh, this can be used both way in a good way also in a bad way also we have seen uh, recently with during this car protest in the early part of 2020 that some of the places in up also in uh, delhi also in kolkata also this internet was switched off internet was totally switched off and once internet was switched off in kashmir also then you have account but you cannot you have money in your account but we cannot withdraw from the atm you cannot make payment to the petrol pump you cannot uh, uh, hire ola cab uber cab you cannot uh, hire zomato nothing was made possible so the government is having more control over you just because everything is becoming digitalized now what will be the future of financial innovations so the future of financial innovation is like uh, the banks this with robots as i told you that everywhere there will be robots so this actually i am visualizing that the future of financial innovations so the most of the monotonous or repetitive tasks will be done by the robots and only the tasks where actually human emotions will be involved will be done by the human being city bank used to charge 200 dollar per person for every visit a person made to a physical uh, bank branches because this is that we have offered everything online. So you need not to visit our bank branches, avail all the services through online mode only. We will be happy to deliver you everything at your doorstep. doorstep. You need not to visit our bank branches. Second, this is also artificial intelligence is the future of financial innovation. So the data analysis, the analysis, even interpretation part will be done by artificial uh, like robots using artificial intelligence and machine learning and only uh, the process data will be available in front of the human being to take decision where some emotions will also be involved so robotics and artificial intelligence then future financial framework for finance so paying for goods and services it will be through machine moving money from today to tomorrow from today to tomorrow that is saving and investing you are moving money from today to tomorrow that is also using some machines moving money from tomorrow to today today that is using credit that is also happening that is an innovation is happening then managing the risk innovation is there for decision support artificial intelligence is there infrastructure is there having all this privacy and security issues and roles of the game the law regulatory aspects is there which will be deciding based on this privacy and this infrastructure and uh, all these issues will be taken care of and this will be the future functional framework for finance uh, in near future thank you for your uh, patient listening now if you have any question please feel free to ask